How do you? My name's Anna. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette that I recently picked up at their most recent restock. So if you want to see this look that I did and hear my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. Again, welcome. Let's jump into this because I feel like this is going to get a little long with the swatching and everything. So I'm just going to get started with that. Um, this is the palette right here. I love this packaging. I just think it's so, it gives me total tropical vibes. <laughs> um, I am a big fan of Hawaii, got married in Hawaii, and this reminds me of Hawaii. It just does. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the palette looks the same, but yeah, just so sweet. And this is the palette. So bright and colorful, but also like kind of grungy, which right up my alley. And you've got a few shimmer shades in there. It is mostly matte. Um, there is a mirror. All right. So, oh, and a cute little embossment here. You see that? All right, I'm gonna get swatching. So first, mango. Ooh, that feels really nice. Okay. Palm tree. Khaki. and rainforest. Ooh, feels very soft. They all feel very soft. So those are the first four. All right, and moving on to Pickle. I don't know why it's called that, but I like it. What does that say? Palawan? Is that how that's pronounced? Oahu, which I've only been to the airport there. Jungle. Yeah, these are very, they feel soft, like they feel nice. Oh, I love green. <laughs> it's like Colors you find in nature, but the brightest versions of them. I like it. Okay, and I totally skipped this shade olive for some reason. <laughs> I think I saw a Wahoo and got excited. So this is olive because I skipped it. And then Army. Safari. Yeah, these all still feel pretty soft. And then another Shimmer National Park. I just have a sneaking suspicion this is going to be really, really flattering on my yellow olive undertone. All right, so chartreuse. Every time I asked my dad what his favorite color was when I was a little kid, he would say chartreuse. 
And I know that wasn't true. I think he just was being difficult. <laughs> I think he just, I don't know. I think he was just trying to be funny, but that's how I learned what the color chartreuse was. Cave. Ooh, yeah, these feel very velvety or something. Very, very soft. And Seychelles. Another shimmer. It's the most sort of jewel to... Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That is spectacular. Per usual, I have no idea what I'm going to do today. Um, but I think... Man, I want to use that Seychelles shade. That is a pretty palette. Look at that. I like. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm not sure. I feel like I want to go through and tell you the names of these shades again because I put them in the wrong order. So, I'm going to start here. I'm going to try to point as I go. That's Mango, Palm Tree, Khaki, Rainforest, Pickle, Palawan, Oahu, Jungle, Olive, Army, Safari, National Park, Chartreuse, Cave, and Seychelles. And my goodness, that is lovely. All right, and then I also, I'm usually not the biggest fan of <clears throat> of this kind of thing, but I was very curious. My curiosity was piqued. So I picked up the four pack of the glimmer shadows that they made to go with the um, palette. Ooh. And these are an extension of the Tropical Vibes palette and feature four highly pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture, lots of sparkle. We like that. And the ultimate color off. All right. So they come in these cute little pots with little pictures on them. Oops. I maybe put the lids back on the wrong color. I don't know for sure because I've looked at them. I have not swatched them. And Let's just swatch these. They're so cute. So this one is called Green Hibiscus. Ooh, shiny. There's just so much green here. It's it's really it's making me very happy. <laughs> um yeah, we can fit those right here. Right? I'll put them on the more meaty part of my arm. Ooh, ooh, yeah, they're a little bit wet. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's sparkly. Ooh, that's, that's nice. So this one's called Green Hibiscus. <clears throat> oh yeah, it just feels nice and wet. Got some sparkle there. Okay. And then the next one looks like this. Wow, these look very spectacular. Okay, this is called Lotus Leaf. Yeah, it's kind of squishy. It's kind of like a, you know, like a color pop. Um, what are they called? I can't remember. Whoops. <laughs> Bracelet's in the way. 
Ooh. Oh yeah, these are very fun. Very pigmented. And this next one is called Rowan. It's a deeper green. Ooh, kind of looks like it has like a purple shift. Is that possible? Is that true? Oh, I think it is. I wonder if we'll be able to see it here. Yeah, a little bit. All right. That one has like sort of a scent to it. Not a fragrance so much. Oh my goodness. Did not think this through with the bracelets. But I like them, so I'm keeping them. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah, that's very shiny. It's got a black base to it, which is probably why I was seeing purple. That's cool. And then this last one is called Fan Palm. It's kind of got like a patina copper vibe to it. Super Shock. That's what they're called. <laughs> uh, super Shock. Colourpop Super Shock shadows. Yeah, these are like super pigmented. It has almost like a brown base with like a goldish, like I said, like kind of patina green on there. All right, so lots, lots to choose from. And that is gorgeous. And they did say, you know, it's like a complimentary, complimentary shades. Um, to the big palette and I think that's true I don't see anything that's like identical at all but it would go really well um, yeah love it okay well I'm gonna zoom in and we'll put this on my eyes all right so I primed my eye with the ABH eyeshadow primer and I always powder it because I have very creasy hooded eyes and I just kind of need to set set that and that seems to work for me. Some people like the more sticky base of not powdering but I tend to, especially if I'm working with powder shadows, I just tend to powder it and that works for me. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little bit simple today and just show off some of those shimmery glimmer shades. Um, so much to choose from. I do like 15, 15 seems like a good, a good amount of shadows. Like anywhere, I feel like between nine and 16 is sort of the sweet spot for me. All right, I'm gonna take chartreuse. And kinda average size crease brush. That definitely looks brighter <laughs> in the pan than on my eye. Is that because this brush had something else on it? Yeah, it looks more mustard. It's pretty pigmented. All right. Now, I'm gonna take this mango shade. got like just a slight bit of green it's like a yellow with a slight hint of green I'm gonna just kind of clean my brush off wipe it off but use the same brush I like this brush these blend bunny cosmetics brushes are amazing I really like them indie brands are where it's at y'all all right and that I'm gonna put into the center of my face, so the corner, inner corner of my eye, crease. Yeah, these look deeper on than they do in, in the pan. They're very pigmented, which is good. But I'm a little disappointed that they're not as bright as they look in the pan. They do look pretty though. I do, I do like them. Okay, so then, Going into Oahu. 
This is really fun to look at. I'm not gonna lie. All right, and then I'm going to take just like a shader brush actually, and just right away, I'm gonna go in to this rainforest shade. And I wanna set that under my brow bone in that spot that I left for it. Oh yeah. I love this color story. I love it. I love it so much. The shadows seem to be performing really well too. Yeah, nice. I think I'm going to take this more transition-y shade, Jungle. And with that same brush that I used for, for these shades, I want to just put sort of a wash of color a little bit lower on sort of the bottom, the bottom edge of these. I'm going to go back in. And then, let's see, I want a deeper shade. I think I'm going to go for cave. I think I'm just going to go for the deepest shade, see how that performs. I almost want to use that shimmery color, but I know better with my hood, <laughs> with the this guy. I know better. I just know better. I don't think that's going to be attractive. All right, so cave on this outer V. Nice and pigmented. And it does have enough of that, like, yeah, I like that shade. Enough of the, what was I gonna say, green sort of hue to it. I love this color story. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm gonna try a wash. No, no, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into olive. Let's use another shade. Hopefully it's not too deep for what I'm trying to do here, but I just want to sort of diffuse this out a little bit around the edges. And I think that's a little deep for that. So what I'm going to do is take another fluffy brush and take a little bit lighter shade actually i'm gonna go into oahu again because that definitely looked um not as bright um like i said on my eye as it did in the pan and we'll see how that how that looks i don't want to get to get too muddy even though i'm basically using like swampy colors which is very fun best course of action here is I do want to use this I just this could go horribly wrong and I say that in every video and sometimes it does um but I'm gonna take Seychelles and a teeny tiny liner brush and I'm just gonna do the lower lash shine with that and we're gonna see what happens it's really pretty I'm very pigmented this palette's very pigmented. I really like it. Like I said, it's kind of bolder and brighter on the eye than it is in the pan, which isn't the most ideal. I, sometimes I don't, you know, it's like you want to know what you're getting, but that doesn't bother me too much because the colors are pigmented and they're very beautiful. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I do think I'm going to take this shade, which is called Lotus Leaf. And I wanna put that in my inner corner and then like down into the center of my lower lash line. 
Ooh, bling. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is wonderful. I like how that's looking with the Seychelles shade. I think I just want to go with this grungy shade on my lid. I don't know. It just feels like the right thing. I'm going to try it with my finger. Actually, I'm going to take a little brush for the inner, um, inner corner because I have very small eyes and they're deep set. So getting my finger in there is just not going to happen. <laughs> so let's take a little, little flat brush. This is actually a lip brush from Nikia Joy Cosmetics that I love to pieces because it's tiny. Most flat brushes are bigger than this that I've seen. Anyway, this is one of my favorite brushes from, from her line. So again, this is the shade Fan Palm. This grungy patinaed green. Whoops, this is not a mirror. I was trying to look in it. That's hilarious. That is really sparkly. That is wonderful. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, I approve of this message. I am gonna go in with my finger now and see how it applies that way because that's usually how I do lid shades. And I'm gonna take that brush again and just kinda smooth out the edges a bit. I love how that really blends into that cave shade well. Am I done? Is that done? I think it is. I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and finish up my makeup and I will be back. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I, I think of myself as somebody who doesn't like yellow and think that it doesn't look good on me. But this, this is amazing and I love it. This combo. And I, I have to say, so I have on black mascara. If I had, if ever there was a time that I wish I had brown mascara, which I don't, and it's not like it's hard to find. But anyway, I don't have black mascara. I mean, oh my gosh, brown mascara. I think that would look really good with this look. Also, my lower lashes are looking extra today. I just opened a new one of my favorite um, mascaras. Is this Monster Big, the little mini one? Oh man, I buy like three of these a year or something, four maybe. Yeah, probably every three months, I don't know, whatever. They last me, they're, you know, $14 a tube. Love this stuff. Anyways, um, I am living and dying for this look. I love it so much. Um, up close. Probably doesn't look as good, <laughs> but I also, okay, so they, it was so sweet. Okay, let me tell you about my experience with Ace Beauté, actually, because, man, I, I am just loving indie brands more and more and more. I just love them. I, it's such a different experience. I feel like I'm purchasing from people who really, really care about what they're doing rather than caring about making a profit. I mean, yes, they need to make a profit. And that's important, of course, to, to any business or else, you know, you can't do it. Um, but I just feel like they really love what they do and care about what they do. Um, anyways, um, I ordered this, they did a restock and you know, I, I had kind of no expectations. I think their website said the kind of average, you know, seven to 10 days for processing or whatever. And mm, maybe three to seven days after I ordered, I got an email that was like, hey, your order's taking longer than we thought. Um, You know, thanks for being patient with us. And I was like, okay, that's great. Like, thank you for communicating. I actually really appreciate that. Um. Like I said, when I'm dealing with, it feels like I'm dealing with a person, you know, if it's a corporation, it feels so different because it feels like, you know, they have the buying power and the like hiring power and, and that kind of thing to, to make things happen like on a, on a certain schedule. But like when you're dealing with somebody who's maybe on their own or, you know, like a three person operation or whatever, small business, it doesn't matter. You know, a small business is a small business and 
when they make that extra effort, you know, the communication, it's, it just makes you feel like you're supporting a human being. I don't know. I, I just, I love that this comes from somebody's heart and that that's obvious and apparent. Anyways, I was really impressed at their communication. And then, um, it really didn't take that long to ship. It maybe shipped two, two and a half weeks after I ordered it, which I feel like for, um, a very small, I mean, I don't know how small they are, but it's an indie brand, right? It's not Dior or whatever. Um, I felt like it came very fast. It was wrapped very well, um, packaged, you know, well, anyways, anyways, there was also, um, there was a little note card that had like a 15% off coupon that was like, sorry, your order took longer, you know, longer than you were expecting or whatever. And I thought that was sweet. And then, um, they also sent these lashes in, which, so I love fake lashes. I really do. Um, and when I'm performing, I like to wear them. But the thing is when you're 25 feet away from people or even 10 feet away from people, your lashes do not have to be like on well, <laughs> like they can just kind of be like stuck there in any old way. And it's fine. I feel like when I'm doing this, like more up close, dang, I like this look. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Ah, <sighs> I love this palette. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh, so they sent these lashes and I was like, whoa, those lashes are huge. <laughs> and like, but how sweet and how, how, how sweet was that for them to like throw in, you know, a little extra, not expected whatsoever. Um, but it's appreciated. It's sweet. And so I feel like I want to try them, but I'm afraid that they're going to be like so big on me. And like I said, I'm not actually good at putting lashes on. If I'm going to be 10, 12 feet away from you on a stage, you're not going to know that like they're, you know, looking gnarly and like not stuck to the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to try to put these on maybe. Gosh, let's see. I feel like these are going to hit my eyebrows. Okay. They're so cute though. Oh, whoops. My lighting's a little weird. Yeah. There you go. They're so big. I love this palette, y'all. I just, I can't even. This might be my favorite look I've done in a long time. I'm just, I'm obsessed. This is gonna be four times as big as my eye. You ready for this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that gonna be cute? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so. Should we try? I feel like I'm... I feel like I like this look so much that I don't want to, like, muss it with messing with lashes that'll probably just not look that great. Um, they're very cute, though. Maybe I'll try them with a different look sometime. Like a really over-the-top, you know, kind of glam thing. I... I think this is arguably a very wearable look. I don't know. I just... Mm. This palette, this palette has my heart. I, I saw, I think it was Amy Loves Makeup was talking about this palette in a video and it just looked so gorgeous and she was talking about loving it so much. And I was so excited when I saw they were restocking it. Oh, so pretty. And the shadows worked really well. I feel like this is what I wanted the Martini palette from Glamlight to be. And it just, I don't know, that one didn't do it for me as much. Um, I kind of want to compare them right now. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I love, love this whole color story. Yeah. And actually I do think, oh, I see. I see. These are just deeper. There's more contrast. Similar vibe. 
as far as the color story, but this is like a more lighter ethereal thing and this is a little bit more dramatic and contrasty. So that's probably, that's probably what I love about this. Just so much versatility. And I will say, I'm really glad that I picked, I'm so glad I picked these up as well. I wasn't going to. And then at the last minute, I was just like, Ugh, I'm curious. I want to know this, um, lotus leaf that I have in my inner corner is delightfully beautiful and like the perfect inner corner green. In fact, I was going to do like a green, um, highlighter today or greenish tinged highlighter and I don't know these eyes just needed to be kind of their own like special show and so I did the rest of my face like a little bit more muted like I had this bright orange lipstick that I was gonna do no no these eyes deserve their moment I'm just gonna let them have it <laughs> anyways that's my video for today Ace Beauté I love this palette I love it with all of my heart I'm so happy that this exists in the world and that it is part of my collection and I love it so much. I, I love this so much. Thank you for being here today. I really thank you to my subscribers and all of you for all of your kind comments. And I have to say, I love, I love connecting with you on makeup. This is a big reason why I started this channel is because I don't have a lot of people in my immediate life who are like big makeup um, fans, which is fine, but I, I wanted to talk about it and share it with people because I have so much enthusiasm and love for makeup and color and I so appreciate you and your support in this and your um, feedback as far as, you know, like, um, what you like in in your makeup and and what you don't like about palettes that I like and vice versa it's it's just fascinating to me and it's this give and take that I really want and thank you thank you so much for participating um speaking of if you are not subscribed I would love it if you would subscribe I will have many more videos on indie brands as well as um I do, I do really like me some Pat McGrath, some, well, I think Natasha Denona might be actually an independently owned brand, but it's huge. Anyways, I do like some of the bigger brands as well. I'm going to close this off. <laughs> Thank you again for being here. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I found